Hello and welcome to the next episode of my Build the Millennium Falcon build. We are looking at issues 76 and 77 as you can see here. Now I have taken them out of the packets already. Um, for this side it's purely because I was too eager to get in and finally look at some side pieces which we have in issue 77. We're finally getting the side of the Falcon pieces coming in which is another sign that it's drawing close to the end which is a sad thing but also a really cool thing to kind of get the width of it. Um, the height of it or whatever which way you look at it uh, but we are not going to be looking at these pieces in this video because I'm going to save it for next time where we get more side pieces for the mandible so put those aside for now and we'll look at those in a couple of weeks time we are going to be looking uh, at this piece though that comes in issue 77 which is pipe work which we will be attaching to the bottom of the mandible in issue 76 we get um, top mandible plated parts and also more cutouts I have gone ahead and um, started to paint this one up haven't yet done this one um, purely because I um, <laughs> I just got it out of the packet and started doing it without thinking oh actually I've got a film to make I need to uh, do it on camera for my viewers um, so sorry about that but I will go ahead and finish painting these off now and when I've done that I'll come back and have a look at all these parts that we get in these two issues apart from the side parts and here are the next two cutouts all finished so just look at them uh, one at a time First of all, we have this one. Again, it's just the same standard affair. Uh, shiny silver metallic look for the main piece and then grime and black oil spill at the bottom. And then on this one, metallic again, a little bit of rusty part, uh, a little rusty part there. And then of course, the pipes and stuff are different color as well. Uh, but these parts are not finished. I thought I would try and mix it up in the way that I do things. Um, so I have painted the main parts first as you can see uh, but we do have parts to add on which are these parts which I'm putting on here whoops this one goes flying so I have cut these out and I have filed them down already so they just need to be glued in so the first part we have is this little engine uh, mechanical piece here um, which will go there's a hole there just here and there's a peg there and it will just slot in there like so there we go so that goes in there like that i'm just going to get some glue and just seal it in at the bottom there like that and that's all that you have to do for this one just put that little piece in uh, because the glue is drying i'm just going to store it that way around like that so the last three pieces go into this cutout here let's have a little look at them the first piece we have oops is this one here which is kind of like a uh, tentacle looking thing there and then we have a very similar piece but with squares instead of circles like that and then we have a um, just a piece there of sticking up machinery like that so to put these parts in just get some glue uh, they're a little kind of, it's hard to see now, I've painted it. But you can see there's like little grooves cut out where the two circular parts go. So I'm just going to put some paint on that bit there. And put the first bit in, which is the circular part, like that. And then some more paint onto the second groove, just like that, for the... Um, square circular part oops which goes in like oh stuck to my finger like that ish there we go like that and that's what it looks like when it's all stuck in so those parts are really in contrast to the rest of the cutout parts uh, which is quite nice i quite like that i might add some um black wash to it to be honest to, so it doesn't stand out as much and you get that dirtier grimy feel uh, for the last part there's a little peg at the bottom just there so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on that peg and then I'm going to get my tweezers thank you to everyone that commented that these are called tweezers not pliers I just had a momentary lapse of English that just pops in there like so 
Sorry about the uh, focus. Push that in, and that is secure. Secure the glue properly, and there we go. So that is that cut out with all those parts intact. Um, yeah, looking good. And the other one is drying here, but it looks like that. Um, so what I'm going to have to do now is attach them to the next part of mandible, uh, which consists of this framework piece here and these two plating parts, which we get in issue 76. But that, of course, means I have to uh, put the platework onto the framework. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And so here is this part of the mandible all finished, um, apart from obviously all the extra detailing that will go on top of it. Um, you can see just in here, uh, those um, tentacle pieces looking nice and the recesses look nice. It all looks nice. Now I probably should explain at this stage, this is the top of this part, which is the bottom, the one that we have previously done. So they're not two tops or two bottoms. Uh, when it's all finished, I think I showed this last time, it will go on like that. Um, so these are the uh, recesses that will be seen most because they're at the top. And obviously these are the ones that we've seen at the bottom. But just to put them side by side like they were both the top ones, you kind of get an idea of how the finished mandibles will look. Very, very excited about that. Um, so I'm just going to put the top aside for now because we do not need that anymore. What we do need is the bottom and we're going to finish off the bottom part of this mandible now uh, by adding all of this pipe work. Now this is the pipe work we get in issue um, 77. I have put a bit of a uh, rust work just on this piece here and that's it. And then of course we get the pipe work which was left over from last time. So make sure you dig that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting on the pipes. So the first pipe you will need is the longest one of the lot, which you, uh, which we have got in the previous um, issues. Uh, obviously, all these pipes attach the same way. There are little pegs to attach into these numerous holes all over the main part of the mandible. And what you have to do is put them in like I'm just about to show you. So you just get this part. It's got a little kind of mechanical bit there. And it just pops into these holes very nicely there and then it goes into the recess and it tucks into a little hole down the recess there so i'm just going to get some glue and attach that one down so the next piece of pipe working isn't really pipe working it's kind of a flatter um, add-on detail this one um, you can see it's kind of got a little dip to the side there where this side is straight. So you put the dip um, towards the main body of the mandible here and it just sticks in like that. Okay, I've just skipped ahead here to uh, put some more of these pipe works on. I wasn't sure how interesting it would be to put all of them on, which is why I skipped ahead, but there is a few more left to put on. The first one being this pipe work piece here. Um, so what you do is you put glue on the pipework or get a bit tied up here. Just put them on the pegs and then this one fits into these two holes here. Bunk, bunk in like that. Just make sure it goes in the hole in the recess. It does. And it goes in like that. The uh, second to last piece then is this part here, which is more, more mechanical parts with pipe work going off it. There's two holes here, which you can see, and there's two pegs, which I'm just gluing here. And of course, the pipe work that goes into the cutouts. Place the pegs in, and then find the holes. There's one there, and one there. 
Let's push them down. And that is that set of pipes all put in. And then the final piece then is not a pipe, but it is a piece of mechanical work looking like that. Two pegs here. Glue, glue. And I believe it goes around this way. Yes, it does. Oh, into the pegs like that. And here we have the first bottom of our mandibles completed. And I have been waiting for a while actually to get into the pipe work of the Falcon. We've still got all the pipe work to do on the top half of the circular part of the Falcon, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, I really think that this pipe work is just an ingenious piece of design from the original team that made it because it looks fantastic. It makes it look really, really good. And I'm very happy with how this piece came out. Um, so that is it for uh, this video today. I just want to apologise if I haven't seemed as um, jolly or uh, this video hasn't seemed as bouncy as always. Uh, I'm sure you know that yesterday was quite a big day for us here in the UK. Um, whichever way people voted, I think we're all feeling shattered today because, you know, the PM resigning and all that stuff is, is just, it's just been exhausting and a period of uncertainty. But this isn't a political channel, not by any means. Um, you know, it's escapism. Building models is escapism and I really want to keep it as that. It's just sometimes, especially with something this big, I can't help being affected by it. <laughs> and then of course it affects what I do, which is this stuff um for you guys but i did want to get this video out because i know that you enjoy watching them and i'm very grateful for that thank you very much but uh just explaining if it isn't as bouncy as normal that is why and i'm sure you can understand that um but yes next time i will be back on form and we will finish this mandible i believe all the pieces that will come up in the next few issues will be all we need to actually get a 3d proper version of one of the mandibles competed uh, completed even not competed that's which is just crazy to me because um i remember when the falcon looked like this and there we have it <laughs> there's still a long way to go guys but of course there is. this is only the second video out of a two-year project it's going to be amazing and there was just so much left to do and it seemed like such a long time and here we are very soon going to have a completed mandible bonkers absolutely bonkers very exciting but bonkers. So uh, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry again for being a bit flatted, flatted, flattened, whatever. Uh, may the force be with all of you. Um, sometimes I wish we could just board our uh, spaceships and get out of the world for a bit just to get some perspective. But hey ho. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.